Hi, I'm Chef Paisley, and today we're going to make my favorite chewy chocolate chip cookies. Mmm. Hi, let's cook a special treat together. Come on, let's go. First, you start with two and a quarter cups of flour. You might need measuring spoons. That's a lot. One. Two. <laughs> then you will need one teaspoon of cornstarch. There you are. It makes it extra soft. Next you need one teaspoon of baking soda. Hi! <laughs> After that you will need a half teaspoon salt. Now we'll need to whisk the dry ingredients together. And you have to whisk it because if you don't whisk it, then you'll just get one big clump of one thing. Now it's time to move on to the wet ingredients. First, you'll need three quarters of melted butter. It has to be cooled so the eggs don't get scrambled. Next, we will need another three quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm using a quarter cup because it's easier to scoop into the brown, sh the brown sugar jar. When you measure brown sugar, you have to pack it down because that's the correct way to measure it. I'm using three quarters. After you have done that, we will need to put one half cup of granulated sugar. <laughs> That's a lot. After that, you'll need to mix it. You have to mix it until it's smooth. And you won't really need a mixer for, th for this one because it's very easy to mix. So after you've done this, then you will need two teaspoons of vanilla and one egg and one egg yolk. We add an egg yolk so it's extra chewy. And we add vanilla so it tastes good. Mm. <laughs> Hello, teaspoon. <laughs> this is so much fun. One. Two. Now you'll need to crack the egg. This is kind of, it's, it's kind of hard to do it because 
if you have any shells, then you will have to get them out. You want to crack your egg in a separate container because you don't want any shells getting into the mixture. Now you'll need one egg yolk. And the egg yolk is the, yolk, the little yellow spot inside the egg. I'll need to scoop this out. After that, you'll have to mix it even more. Your egg should be at room temperature so it so it mixes better into the batter. Now we're going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Oh my. Okay. Sometimes you'll have to use a rubber spatula to get the rest out. And to scrape the sides. <laughs> now you'll have to mix it together. You might need some help from your parents to give you a start off or to check it. And after that, you'll need one and one quarter cup of chocolate chips. probably wondering why I have one extra bowl. I'm going to use some sprinkles. Sprinkles make them extra colorful. It looks pretty already. going to scoop out the cookies with the cookie scooper. You can use a silicone baking mat or parchment paper. Now I'm going to scoop them. If you didn't have a scoop, you could roll them into balls or you could use a spoon. The good thing about the recipe is you, you can fit 12 cookies on the pan. You'll have to chill the cookies for maybe a couple hours so they stay nice and thick and don't spread out across the baking sheet. Once that is done, you'll have to preheat your oven to 325 degrees, like we did. After that's done, you need to bake the cookies for 13 minutes. Take them out of the oven. Oh my, that one just fell apart. Don't worry. The secret to making cookies is that they're underbaked. Underbaked means that when they don't quite look ready yet, you have to take them out of the oven 
or check them with a toothpick. Now you have to let them cool about 10 minutes on the baking sheet. Now we're going to taste test. And these are my two sisters, Piper, say hi, hi. and Anna. Hi. Okay, which one do you want? I mean, which one do you want? Is it good? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.